Salutations! I'm Jesco, and you're watching Game Dev Made Easy. Today's topic is implementing the state pattern in Unity and CryEngine. The state pattern is a design pattern that allows for an object to appear to change classes at runtime. You can think of the state pattern as an alternative to a state machine. The end results are very similar, but the way you write them are very different. The state pattern is designed to be more loosely coupled from your code base, so it is far easier to use it in different projects. The state machine is much more tightly coupled from the code base and is better suited for a specific project. With all of that out of the way, roll the intro! The object of this video is to have as similar of an implementation with as similar a result as possible. Now obviously things will have to be a little different as some functions don't exist in the other engine or have different names. I'm just making sure we are all on the same page here. We will have the same classes and for the most part the same methods for both engines. We will have a character class, an I character interface, a wait state, a wander state, and a character behavior class. The reason we have everything separated like this is that each .cs file has a specific purpose. The character class will define the context of how the state pattern functions. The I character interface will define our base methods that we want to make sure is always present in our derived classes. The wait state is one of the states that we want the character to go into. In this case, to wait for a few moments before moving on to the next state. The wander state class is the other state we want the character to go into. In this particular instance, we want the character to move in a random direction. The character behavior class will derive from the engine specific class to allow it to attach to an object in the editor. For Unity, that would be mono behavior. And for CryEngine, it would be Entity Component. Let's do a quick transition and we will get into implementation with CryEngine. 